How you doing folks? It's boy Manny here. Today I'll be showing you how to create your own iPhone 4 ringtone from iTunes. So this is what I have for now. I created this from iTunes. It's just an example of what, uh, what you could do with iTunes and you could use any mp3 music or song that you have so let's get to it so what you're gonna need is some iTunes open and the song the song that you want to create as your ringtone in this video I'll be showing you how to create the current one that I have on my iPhone 4 so here's the song that we will be creating today. Here you go. Okay, so what you gotta do is um you have to cut out the three seconds of the best song that you like. In this case I'll be I'll be going to get info. See that? So what you do you right click this this see the song? You right click it and you go to there no no not there there get info so click there so this will pop up so what you gotta do you gotta go to options and you're gonna cut out the best 30 seconds that you that you want in my case the best 30 seconds um, starts from 42.9 it's at 30 seconds to that it should be at 112.9 as you can see here I want you to just click OK. So um, the next thing you gotta do is you could you could um test it out if you wish. Look at this. See, started exactly at 42.9 seconds and it will end at 30 seconds later. So the next thing you gotta do, you gotta make sure you have to you make you have to make sure you're at the right. You have the right um option in order to do this so what you gotta do you gotta go to you gotta go to edit there go to preferences there so this pops up after you hit preferences right here so what you what you gotta do is um you have to go to I believe it's sharing let's see that it's not sharing so let's see See, not store device so what you gotta you have to be in general so what you have to do you have to go here import settings so what you do you go to import settings this will pop up so what you have to do you have to make sure you're not on import using you have to make sure you're on the AAC encoder see that click that then click OK see click OK so you almost you basically done with one of the most important things okay just click click OK so what you do the next thing is pretty simple so what you do just go back to the song here see there is highlighted that's one I'm creating right click that and then find the option that says uh, there it is create AAC version click that See, you heard that little tri tritone sound, meaning that you're already done. So what happened is, um, he goes to the original, uh, an extra, um, what kind of file with the same name of the song pops up at the bottom of the original one. In my case, here it is. See, that's the one that I created. That's the one that I created. Actually, that's not it. Sorry about that. So let's see. This is the original one right here. As you can tell, this is the one that I created right here. How can you tell that's the one I created? Look at the time. It's only it's only only thirty seconds. Okay, only thirty seconds. So that's the one I created. So what you gotta do next is um right click the one that you created, the thirty second one. Right click that and go to go to show in Windows Explorer there it is 
So this pops up, and this, there goes the song that you just created. So what you do, actually that's not, yeah, that is the one. So what you do, you have to make sure the extension is not M4A. You have to make sure the extension right there, you gotta change it to M4R. See M4A, change it to M4R. So I'll be showing you how to do that right now. So I'll give me one quick second. So delete the A and put R. There it is. So that's it. So what you do is click enter. Ask you if you want to do that and just say yes. There it is. That's a brand new ringtone that you could use with your iPhone. What you gotta do now is one thing I would like to do is um just memorize the location of the of the um, ringtone. So in my case is this. That way it's going to be pretty easy to find it, if somehow you want to search it. So now you're done, so what you got to do is, um, you can, um, you can just right click to it and open with or whatever, which, whichever best way you could. Or what I could do is, um, in my case, best thing to do is double click it, since it's M4R, it'll, it'll go straight to iTunes, so there it is. So you can't see it because it's already a ringtone so what you gotta do you have to go to the ringtone section so I'm gonna show you how to do that so look so I'm gonna go to the ringtone section here and these are all my ringtones that I have, I have created and as you can see the one that I just created is playing see and there's a duplicate because I already made one so it's the same one so it's playing already so, so there you go folks so once all that that is over, so what you know what's next? Next thing to do, all you gotta do is plug in your iPhone, iPod, your iPhone, sync it, and you should have the ringtone on your device. Once again, thank you for watching.